University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello and welcome once again to University Challenge. Tonight we have a team from St Luke's College, Cambridge. Let's meet them. Hello, my name is Tristram Pearson from Oxford, reading biochemistry. Hello, I'm Josie Burgess from Brighton, reading etymological linguistic studies. And their captain? Simon Montefort Hill, Jacobean and Carolean literature. Hello, I'm Amelia Stockbridge from Newbury, reading Icelandic politics. Facing St Luke's this week are a team of ordinary people we've chosen entirely at random. Yes, we've just taken these people straight off the screen. So let's meet them. Gail Platt from Weatherfield. And I don't get much time for reading anything, what with running the cafe with Alma and three kids to bring up by different fathers and crying a lot. <laughs> Jim McDonald, Weatherfield. Currently studying me... Currently studying me divorce papers. How can you do it to me, Liz? You hurt. Sorry. Is that Captain? Uh, Vera Duckworth, Rover's Return. Hot Pops, especially on the <laughs> Norman, uh, Norman Watts, at Weatherfield, uh, reading uh, Grooming for Men. Well, if you're familiar with the rules, it's fingers on the brothers. Here's your first starter for ten. In particle physics, what is the name of the hypothetical subatomic particle which mediates the attractive force among quarks in hadrons? St. Luke's Pearson. Gluons. That's correct. Your bonuses are all on Greek philosophers. Which Greek philosopher wrote the 35 dialogues? Plato. Plato. Correct. Which ruler of Syracuse did Plato tutor in 367 BC? Dionysius the Younger. Younger. Correct. What's the name of the school founded by Plato's student Aristotle? The Peripatetics. Well done. They were all pretty easy. Fingers back on the buzzers. Here's another start of the ten. What was the name of the French novelist whose oeuvre includes La Terre, La Débâcle and La Samoir? The Street Duckworth. I'm not cause trouble, like anything around here will tell you. But I don't think you should be asking us that question. And why not? Because we don't know the answer. <laughs> What's the point of asking us something we don't know? Right. Well, because the other team might know it. Look, love, ask us some ordinary folk might know. There's a good lad. Right. Here we are. On a dartboard, what number comes between 20 and 18? The Street McDonald. The answer to that, Jerry, is one, son. Correct. <laughs> Uh, your bonuses are all on names. What name is the Spanish equivalent of Rachel? Raquel. <laughs> that name I never want to hear again. Okay, second for five points. Her films include One Million Years BC and her surname is Welch. What's her first name? Raquel. <laughs> That's right, Raquel, Raquel Welsh. Finally, the name Derek can be shortened to Del. What is the name of Del's wife in Only Fools and Horses? Raquel! Well done! Here's another start of a ten. Which musicologist was responsible for cataloguing the works of Schubert in a... The Street Duckworth. Look, I've warned you once, we don't know any of these posh questions. Well, shut up then. Right. Yeah, just calm down. Vera, he's in charge. Yeah, well, I've been trapped in a minute. Mrs. <laughs> Duckworth, you do not intimidate me. I've been known to have Michael Portillo trembling under my incisive <laughs> probing. Listen, what you do in your private life is your own business. Sit down, Mrs. Duckworth. It's not my fault if you don't know the answer to the simplest of questions. Uh oh, and you do, dear. Yes, I do. I haven't have a degree from Cambridge University, oh, unlike you. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see about that, yeah, Miss Righty Tighty. Fancy it. pants. Let's see what you know, eh? Rap, get off. Give those back, Mrs. Duckworth. In Norse mythology, what is the name of the Tree of Life? Eh, hey, and I'll give you a clue. It's not Raquel. I'm not <laughs> telling you, Mrs. Duckworth, because you don't know. Of course I know. It's Ignisil. <laughs> it's as much depth as a paddling pool. The street flat. Look, could we get on, please? I've got to get the kids to bed, and I'm due an emotional crisis with Martin. OK, very well then, with the scores tied, here's the very last question. By what name is French Romanesque architecture better known? The street what? Come on, Curly. It's Norman. 
is the correct answer. <laughs> well, that's it from University Challenge. Next week, we'll have uh, Magdalen College, Oxford, one of the most distinguished centres of learning in the world. They'll be facing a team from Telly Addicts. Until then, uh, it's good night from Coronation Street. Yeah. Yeah. And it's good night for me. Good night.